Welcome everyone. Today we're going to take a look at 7 Days to Die. Now of course you've already seen the other video to install Windows GSM and you install your server either from a plugin or from the built-in server function. And now we just need to configure it. So on 7 Days to Die, once it's installed, you edit config. There's nothing to change in here. What you'll do is go to Browse, Server Files, Server Config. We'll edit that with Note Plus Plus, and you're going to change your server name. Also, you'll need to open ports 26900, 8080, and 8081. That's in your router. There's instructions on how to do that on the web page linked in the description. So we've already changed our server name. From there, you'll launch your server. So you just hit start. Now, I launched this a couple minutes ago. The first time you launch this, it takes a very long time. It's just like when you start a new game. You go in, you select the map. It has to build all of that. Same thing happens when you start a server. So it can take minutes. I don't know how long. The, the one bad thing about this one is you embed console, and the console doesn't ever show any more than this, so you don't know where you are in the process. So the best thing to do is just let it build for a few minutes and then try to see if it's working. So this one's been running a few minutes already. It should be built. We're going to go to our Steam query tool, see if our server is found. And it is. So there's a good chance that it's actually finished. This one should be finished because it was already built. I had ran this yesterday and it was built. So now let's see if we can log in to the game and find our server. Just type in your server name and search. And there we are. That's us. Dang. Sorry about that, people. I need to look and see how to turn off anti-cheat. Should be in the server settings, but we're in. Just loading. Seven days said it takes a very long time to build. This is on, everything's running on SSDs, and it still, it takes a good while. And in we go. There you go, seven days to die. Let's take a look at one more quick thing here. Okay, even after connecting, our console does not show anything. So the console is just almost useless in this. Yeah, it doesn't. I was hoping if I turned off the console, it would give me a toggle console button. Doesn't seem to. Uh, one thing to note on 7 Days to Die. If you have an old save before 1.0 and you've ever tried to install a server, even if it failed, if it built any kind of save file at all, you need to delete that saved file because it will try to rebuild it and the server will crash and it will never, after 90 seconds, it'll just say server crashed and that's it. There's no, it was, it's very hard to figure out that's why your server's crashing. 
So that is one one problem I ran into. But that's it. Uh, seven days to die, up and running. Friends, friends are good to connect. It's a piece of cake. This Windows Server Manager is a piece of cake. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.